what's the feeling for you as you get ready to go into this season and get the boys really on the ice for training camp and really get things going? So we've we've changed things around a little bit this year. So we, we moved into our dressing room yesterday. We had our first set of team meetings with our players and to go over some, uh, se- some season expectations. And then we step on the ice uh, for the first time tomorrow as a team. We've got a, a lot of players that are multi-sport athletes and they're top-end athletes. So a lot of uh, lacrosse, soccer, baseball, uh, players that are playing a lot of provincial sports over the summer. So we're doing things a little bit differently this year because I want those kids playing those other sports. So we're actually the, going on the ice at 8 o'clock in the morning. So we're going on for an hour in the morning just for a light skate so that the players still have the rest of the day. They'll recover from the skate, and they'll still have their other sports uh, to, to look forward to throughout the summer because the, the athleticism that they'll gain and the you know, working with other elite athletes and other elite coaches is only going to benefit them going down the road. What kind of carryover do you see? from them playing other sports in the summer. You say it's it's something you like. What are some of the reasons for that, Dean? Obviously, there's aspects that carry over to your hockey club starting, you know, tomorrow, like you said. Well, uh, the sports that they play, it's it's a lot of cardio. You know, so when they're playing lacrosse or they're playing provincial ball hockey or, you know, they're playing baseball, they're doing their cardio. And they're involved in something different. And they're not having the repetitive injuries you know, they're, they're able to put their equipment away for a little while, get involved, get engaged in something else, and then they start to miss hockey as it comes around to this time of year. And then they're, they're not getting burnt out because the minor midget year is a lot, of, a lot of ice times, a lot of times at the rink in a very, very short period of time. We play as many games as any other uh, age group, but our season is the shortest. We are done, you know, if you go to the provincials, you're done the first week of March whereas everybody else is going until mid-April. So it's a very, very compact season, so the kids need to be you know, rested, uh, in good shape, uh, have strong nutrition, things like that. So the other sports, given that cardio, it gives them a break from hockey. It allows them to be part of you know, different coaching, just an excitement of something else. And when they're playing high-level elite sports, they're only going to benefit from it. And I had a, a player call me today. He, he got invited last minute down to uh, a lacrosse outing in the States for tomorrow because he was going to miss our skate. He was concerned about telling me. And I said, no problem. You're going to a high level. You're playing high-level competition. It's helping you develop as a person, being away from mom and dad for a couple of days, making sure you take it upon yourself to get proper rest, proper nutrition into you. That's just going to benefit us down the road. And it's a great experience for these kids. So that's why we really push them playing other sports over the summer. When you look at the season overall, and and explain it to somebody who doesn't understand, because you're absolutely right. This isn't just a regular season, right? The end goal is to get to the OHL Cup, and the end goal is to develop these players for the next level. These players are 15 years old. They are in their OHL draft year and are trying to showcase themselves in order to go to the next level, but you've got tournaments. You've got all kinds of tournaments, whether it be in Toronto, other centers, there's tournaments here locally over the course of the season. This is a lot of hockey, like you said, in a, a short period of time. How grueling is it for these players? Well, it's, I, I can put in perspective for you because we talk to our parents about things like this. We, our season is uh, 210 days long on the calendar. And we are together as a team between 180 and 190 of those days. And that's over a six-month span. So they're getting about one day a month off. So when they have to tie in their schoolwork, they've got to make such a commitment because, you know, it is a whole second life for them. And over the summer now, like, we're really pumping them and saying, hey, yeah, we want you at the gym. Yeah, we want you working out. But... We want you to enjoy other things, play those other sports. And we talk to the kids a lot about, you know, putting the right nutrition into their body Mm -hmm. because it is a grind, making Mm -hmm. sure they get the right rest. And we're making sure they're, you know, making sure that they're getting their immune systems built up because when you're together as as a hockey team and you're in a confined dressing room, 180 days out of 210, and the cold goes through, everybody's gonna catch it. So if you can build up that immune system now, it's going to only benefit you down the road. And, and we bring a lot of ex-players that come in that have gone through it. We bring parents in to talk to our parents about what it's like from a parent perspective. 
and the season just goes by so quickly. Yeah, and what the kids, does. you know, we say to them, look, we're, we're not only trying to get you to the next level for hockey, but we're trying to get you for the next level for, for school, for life. And, you know, some of these kids may not go to the OHL. They may not play junior hockey. But 99% of them are going to go to college or university, and the chances are that's going to be away from home. And they have to make sure that they have that time management. They're able to deal with any adversity. They're able to deal with any issues that, that they need to on their own because mom and dad might not be there to help. Right. And it's getting the proper rest, making sure that the good time management and the life skills. So all of that plays in. And when they're doing other sports in the summer, that plays into it as well. And it's that time management and the, the overall life skills of the kids that, that it builds. We are chatting with Dean De Silva, the head coach of the Kitchener Junior Rangers minor midget team here on FM 98.5 CKWR on the 519 Sports Online Radio Show. I think that's a great perspective, Dean, and I think it gives a lot of people a better understanding of what goes into preparing these players and all the balance. However, you are a hockey coach and you want to be successful. When you look at the makeup of this year's team, what are some of the characteristics that you think will define this group and what are some of the things that you like about this team? I know you haven't played a game yet, but when you put this team together, there must have been certain aspects that you looked at and said, this is why I think our group is going to be successful in the upcoming season. Well, I mean, you, you play the cards that you're dealt. And we've got, uh, you know, any team in Kitchener and and any team in the Alliance or any team in, in minor midget, everybody's happy where they are right now. And when I look at our players, uh, as I've seen them over the summer, as I've sat down and I've, I've sat down and spoken personally with each of them individually and their families and gotten to know them that way, there is a, a very strong commitment level mm -hmm. and a very, very strong work ethic that, uh, mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm real pleased with. And our coaching staff is real excited to, uh, to work with them with that. Because when you have when you have these kids that work very very hard, uh, it, it makes things a lot easier. Right. So uh, we've got a good group of kids that have a strong work ethic. They want to learn. They want to buy in. They they want to get better. And when you have that that inner drive, it certainly yeah. makes things easier for us as coaches. So. That, that work ethic is something that I'm really looking forward to working with this year with these kids. Who are some of the players that are going to stand out in your mind this year? Obviously, you've got a great group, a hardworking group, and you're right. It is the summertime, so everybody says, hey, we're still in first place at this point, right? But when you look at, when you look uh, at right the core... Right now, we're alphabetical, so we got a lot of teams ahead of us, <laughs> halfway down that alphabet. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, you know, there's, we've got, we've got uh, from top to bottom... Uh, Every player on our team uh, has a strong personality. Right. Uh, you know, they say there's no I in teams. I think there's there's 18 I's in teams because we've got 18 players on our team. They each have their own individual strengths. They each have their own individual goals. Mm -hmm. They each have their own individual dreams. And it's trying to bring those goals and dreams in, into a united front. And and you know that was what we had talked to the players about yesterday is they each bring something. And one player's weakness could be the person beside them, their strengths. And the message that we give them is, is know what you bring and bring what you know. So if your strength is you know, being strong in the corners, that's what we need you to bring. And the guy beside you is going to recognize that. So we've got players that each have different strengths. We have players that are very, very dedicated to the defensive side. We have players that are very strong skaters. We've got, uh, you know, goaltenders that are very, very competitive. So it's, it's, it's when I look at this whole group, I just see such a, a, a fantastic group of young men because that's what they are. They're not boys anymore. They're, they're young men that, you know, they're looking you in the eye. They've got a good, firm handshake, mm -hmm. and they've got a goal in mind. And, and uh, you know, right now our goal is to, is to, A, we want to make sure we're in the playoffs and, uh, you know, have a strong year. But... We've got a lot of work to do. There's some teams that, uh, that uh, you know, Waterloo's gone to the OHS. Waterloo's won the championship at, at this age group the last two years. Windsor knocked uh, Kitchener out of the playoffs last year at, at Bantam at this age group. Yeah, so yeah. we've got a lot of work to do, and, and Brantford's got a very, very strong team. So, uh, you know, our players know that every minor midget year is a short year. Everybody brings their best, and... and Ideally, the, the work ethic that, I, that I've seen them in the gym so far from the guys, I'm hoping that they'll bring that on the ice.
For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.